All right, we're back in Cult of the Lamb. And I just got some dingle dangles out of my dingle dingle chest. Dingle dingle chest. What's this? This is the main line, right? Main keep line. My, keep my, my gaming series uh, in line. If you're confused as to what main line is, it's where we play single player games and one of us plays and the other two make fun of everybody. Or but we comment like, and like have discussions. In a healthy way, in a productive and happy making fun of. Not in a demeaning way. It's constructive it's hate. Words. Yeah, it's constructive hate. Powerful Do tentacles. Uh, so is it a weapon or not a weapon? We're going with it. You're going to erupt a bunch of tentacles and touch people. It so, might be like a special guess, move. Can you take both of them? I think so. He took both. Oh, there it is. Oh, hey, yep, that you erupted some tentacles for sure. Yeah, so it's like a special move. I imagine it's that red circle. So instead of the, I think I had like a fireball thing, or I can't remember. Was it? I don't remember something I do also want to say like constructive hate we don't really make fun of each other in these games we, we, we actually work together probably better yeah. in single player games than we do in co-op what ones. was my roll yeah. button there it is aha that's because for some reason it feels like when we play co-op games it turns into a competitive nature and when someone does bad you always have to point it out like I'm better than you and Isn't I'm not saying can... that that's always the case but it just, from personal experience playing co-op games with people, I always feel like there's a competitive nature. Well, that's like, like Tiny Tina, the Borderlands games. Yeah. The first one was really bad with loot yeah. drops. Get to it before your your oh, friends do. Yeah. And they made it a mode where you can choose that way, or you can choose everybody gets their own loot. And like or Diablo it's like the, the, the three shared that loot way. thing. Like, yeah. yeah. Oh. It's like you open up, you open up a chest, and it's all unique to everybody, so they can get their own things. Which I think is a much better way of doing it. So you're not, you know, competing against each other when you're. The idea is, hey, let's have fun with friends instead of, hey, let's make sure we ruin our friendships. Well, and the first Borderlands was very much more like. Oh, I forgot the voices, and this is amazing. But you know, the first Borderlands is very much like this is the sniper. This is the melee this is the magic this is you know like you the class system was very was much more rigid yeah so you'd have somebody that wasn't good at sniper rifles you'd pick up the sniper rifle that did the most damage and be like well man i'm doing like a thousand damage with this gun and i was like man if you gave it to me i'd be doing like thirty thousand damage because it's with your the designated gun. class like, that actually specifies in that yeah because all of my skills make that gun better do you want to get a person do you want to get a follower What's the house thing? I was wondering. We'll do followers. This is a cult game. We need followers. I'm I and I don't want a backseat game. I'm just curious because I don't know what the other ones were either. All right, we were giving you crap about backseat <laughs> I <gaming> know. <laughs> well, to be fair, well, you we'll, weren't. You were we'll asked do the, the question. Yeah. Yeah, important distinctions. I gotta just ask a, ask a question. Don't demand it. Just ask. Oh, he's so scared. He looks sad. He's gotta terrified. find all these bones in the. Oh yeah, because you gotta use the bones for something. Yeah. yeah. Do you break the bones? Oh, I guess you can. You do break the bones. You gotta break the skeletons. Yeah. Hey, hey, yeah. Because you have to break the but you have to kill the bodies of the the bad followers. I probably haven't been doing that correctly the entire time. I thought that like right. we just barely unlocked that ability. I think well, I it mean, might have like, been in this level. Oh. Follower awaits. Oh. Do do. It's also interesting that you're only allowed to go one path. You can't go go back and go to other routes. You're only allowed one path. Well, well they're all random randomized. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's like uh Can you not pick up what looks like a game. heart? I'm full. It's full. full health. What? Wrong um, button. Oh, I guess you were. What space game? What is that space game? Did we I have it. I own it. It's not that one. It's not that one. That's not a space game. I have no idea. It's not that space game. What space game? That space? Live space? No. Bioshock, the trace of a space. Deep space. No, dude, it's just shh, you're breaking it worse. You mean oh, we're not helping? Works. My brain, my, my 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 brain. It's like when you're trying to count and then people have thrown out numbers. You know what's worse when you're trying to count that actually matters in relation to your job, and then if you mess up, people throw out numbers. Yeah. That's what happened a lot when Don't, I worked in retail. FTL. That's the name of the game. FTL. Faster than light. I have never heard of that game. It's a good. It's a good one. You gotta choose uh -oh. the path, and then choose the path, and then. Did that say Vanity Whoa. Fair? Bale Far, or Bailey Far, or Ballet Whoa. Far. But yeah, when I worked in retail, we had when we sent stuff back, we had to send stuff back exactly, and so you would count and make sure the box was correct. And then someone else would ah. have to come and audit it as well to make sure the box is correct. And so if you start throwing out numbers, well, guess what? You're wasting time and you have to mm -hmm. Whoa. recount everything. Oh, yeah. Doing stock and inventory? Yeah. That's. Then let's go get yeah. faster. Uh, no, I think you got slower. Quite possible. But it looks like he's moving. He's a very fast moving lamb, though. Ah! What? Oh, you're so close. Oh, I didn't realize you were. You got martyred. Ah. <sighs> well, you still got your follower, though. Thought I had plenty of health. You should be used to this. You've played Hades. This does actually remind me a lot of Hades, though. That was the game that I was thinking of when you were talking about. Yeah. You, you, it's kind of a mix of a few different styles. All you right. did say space game and... <laughs> Nugdom, I forgot that's the name of the cult. Uh-oh. <laughs> Whoa, that guy's... I can see, he can see through my lies. Oh, uh -oh. Time no. to sacrifice uh... a... dissenter. Yep. You have to kill him? Or oh, re-educate re them. Re Re that sounds like a nicer option instead of just murder. Mm, right, do I, do? I don't think that's a. You have to probably build a re-education. He's angry too. Hey. It, hey. Yeah. Follower. Shrine temple. No, it's not decorations. Was uh, re-educate. Biclo Milo Bonobus. <laughs> What's great is I forget I forget all of these things, so I get to enjoy them like it's the first time. All those. No, did you just re-educate? Yeah, I guess. Do you? No, oh, he's. Do you have to I did. Continually re-educate. What's this? We will continue our argument tomorrow. Mm -hmm. All right. I need to do a sermon. Or a ritual. Can you ritually sacrifice the dissenter? I think the ritual was what you needed the bones for, right? Like a bonfire? Because it shows that the bones were... Oh, you can dance into the night. You probably shouldn't dance do that inside the, the temple. It's good that your dissenter showed yep. up to dance. He's still still an angry dissenter, oh, though. Pissed, though. Right. Um, hmm. Do you remember no. what these are? First are these new? They don't even it have doesn't even tell you, though. I have to pick one. I don't know. You they can pick the heart. You could pick the... They all look like they have one designated path. Weapons. 
It looks like the middle goes further up, though. Uh, I guess it kind of depends on which how the bigger cult leader squares. do you want to be. I'll probably have to do the middle one and then, like, one other side. Unless these can join. Oh, because you've got... I'll well, start with this. Or do you already have that one? Maybe. I think I do. It does do. have a green outline around it, so you might have already had it. Weapons or curses? Do curses. Curses. Ah, chow It was like going light speed. Well. Oh, I see. I don't know why Milo Bonobus reminded me of this, because the old movies probably. And I saw a clip recently somewhere of uh, Pet Cemetery. <laughs> Right after the baby torpedo, when he Whoa. gives him, hits him with a syringe, and the kid's walking away. Not fair. Not fair. Not fair. Not fair. And then he trips and falls. And I have to, I have to give them gifts, gifts, and then I'll own them. He's gonna show me. Here's a treasure. I wonder if you can give your dissenter a gift and he'll turn back into a devout follower. Give him a gift of life. <laughs> I'll let you live. Devotion drops. So you got to go around and give all yes. your people blessings or do you just have one a day? One per, one per follower or one total? Jeez. You can give a follower a blessing once a day yeah you can also give them gifts complete a follower for them. i have to complete quests for them i thought they were supposed to do things for me yeah you're doing this cult thing backwards but i'm following ratatouille he's, he's like the cult master you all is that what that movie was about i thought it was about a rat cooking food it was all a lie he, no you saw shack. him use, You saw him pulling the hairs on that guy's head. He was on the early stages of being a cult leader. <laughs> okay, I guess that means something. Yeah, he's pissed too. He's yeah. He... Oh, and everyone. Can we kill him in his sleep? Where's your new guy? Did you just tell him to wake up? Yeah. <laughs> no wonder why he hates he's being you. being a You're... turd. Because you, he's probably the guy you woke up that one time and told yeah, him to go back I to pretty, work. I think it is. Like, no wonder why he hates you. Because why, why, why ever would you want to let your followers sleep? Because that guy's angry. Oh, you need to earn a commandment stone first. Is that what it is? Because yeah. the yeah, it says you need to sacrifice the chosen follower to the one who waits near the start of the start of your cult of the lamb journey. The one who waits will give you the option to perform the, a ritual called the sacrifice of the flesh. Got to go visit Ratu's home as well. Go. Try this. I like how Loki and I both looked it up just to figure out, like, how do you kill a follower? Oh, cool. You can change your your followers. Yeah, games? we need to add a gift. 
So can you give that to somebody and I think so? Make them happy. You have to defeat him in a that game of knuckle, knuckle bones. bones. So when I match them, multiply, destroy your opponent's dice by matching yours to theirs. That's it. Okay. Ratatouille rolls first. Then you gotta place it. Ugh. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. It's a high roller. This is interesting. That's a pretty high column. Is it column you didn't based? Want to destroy his? It's column based. So you, at How the end I of each column, you, you have to get to a higher his? number. You have to get a higher number than his, I believe. I thought you had to get the same number. Well, you're never going to get the same number. That seems impossible. Well, he had a five. You just—he has a five in the middle, and you've got a five on the right. I don't know. I think Ratatouille's fixed the dice. I kind of think that as well. <laughs> Seventy-two to forty-three. Ready? Right. <laughs> well, when he rolls nothing but fives and sixes, of course. Yeah. Right. Does he still have to beat him in a? Is that the point? Is he always wins because he's a cheater? It does say no one can you... beat him, so maybe it's true. Maybe the truth is he's a again. flat out cheater. And especially because he rolls first, too. So, you know, is it going to be a. What was I going to well, say? That it's... means he's going to. It ends when somebody fills in their thing. So you've got to. You've got to destroy theirs. So why didn't he match his? So if you put that in the first column, first column, what does so, that do? Well, will it match his and take his away? In the that's what I thought. I'd put it in the middle and see what it does. Yeah. See? Okay. I was wondering if it was based on the column number or the dice number. Match Can you dice. replace? No. Yeah. The real question is, do you just have to match something in that what? column, or do you have to... Oh, and oh he no, stole he did. two of your dice. So it is matched the number. Okay, this is interesting. Wow, it's not getting you any. You've got to destroy one of his. Try putting that in the, the number with, with the one column. See if that'll take out those two. No. The two. two no, you have to, no. It has to be the same dice. Oh, is it the same dice that he took out two of them yeah. on? Okay. Yeah, and it didn't give you anything. And since he has no fours. Yeah. <laughs> I like how it just kept throwing fours at you and it kept, kept throwing threes at him. One more time. Now that we have One a better grasp of how this game works. Send it. Come on. Let's send it. Oh. Wow, look at that. You've beaten him. So three. Three, three, three times three. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> You've earned yourself a prize. You've earned a card. Ooh. An extra, and an extra heart. heart. Kind of nice. Are those just possible ones that can come up in the deck, or 
because you don't have an extra heart, right? It might be one that comes up in the deck, yeah. Now he's now he's trying to swindle you. Yep. <laughs> Is this Ratatouille's outhouse? I think so. Okay. Are you stealing his berries? Yeah. He has to, he has to have food to cook for his followers so they don't get angry and dissent like that other guy you're trying to kill. Oh, and you can steal his divine inspiration or whatever? Nug dumb. He can, apparently. Nug dumb. All right, I have to do something in the kill Leshy in the dark wood. Is Leshy the, the boss of the dark wood? Leshy. Oh, that's interesting. Um, if you prefer to get rid of your followers quietly so as not arouse any suspicion, you can send them on suicide missions. Once you unlock the missionary building and cult of the lamb, you can send your chosen follower on a mission mm. that has an extremely low chance of succeeding. And this is where we find out that once you do that, your follower turns into a god, and its low chance still somehow makes it back. Probably. That's how the dice usually rolls. This isn't a like dice game, sword. except for knuckle bones. Yeah, it's a random number generator RNG game. It's. I want a different sword. I thought you had well, one. You should have picked this one up then. I didn't have one. Like, it took it away. Hmm. So it was either pick this you, or you, have no weapon. Is it because you died? It might have been, actually. It does have a very Hades-esque to it. Or perhaps any other game similar to Hades that's out there in the world. It's just free stuff? Free stuff. There's nothing wrong with that. Helps you build your cult. Communism. Everything's wrong with communism. Because getting free stuff is communism. That's the definition. Is it really? I've never looked it yeah. up. Make an offering. That's a. What's he gonna give me? Creepy looking tree. Whoa. Food? Thought it was an STD, an but no, it's just food. food. That's nice. Salmon, berries, pumpkin meat, money? and grass. Can you keep hitting that money until it gives you money? I can. So. You're not gonna get upset with me? The statue's moving kind of angrily, it looks like. But maybe it's just the screen. Faking. Why does it. You have to give it money as a sacrifice, and then it gives you money. What if you attack the statue? Nothing. Okay. You can make another offering. But I don't think he has the wood. Oh, was it wood? I thought it was coins. Oh, oh it looked like wood. He did pick up enough coins. coins if it's coins. It was, yeah, it was up. coins. Yeah. Because the wood's like blue. All right. Get another follower. I want to see what this is. And then fight or a shop. No. Why would he want another follower after his dissenter? All they're going to do is he's got to replace his dissenter. Commandment stone. Fragment. Fragment. 
But still, you've got, you've got, already got a fragment, right? Maybe. Okay, so it's just a shop, that house thing. Can you just choose any other random one, or do you have to go that way? He has to follow the path. Stolen devotion. It's the best kind of devotion. <laughs> Seems kind of weird that there's random devotion obelisks in the forest so, without any followers around he them. Here's a question. If the best kind of devotion is stolen devotion, does that hold true for lotion as well? Stolen lotion? Stolen lotion is the best kind of lotion. I automatically jump so to, is it used lotion? Like, are you stealing it off of someone? You know, your brain can fill in the gaps. I... I, I'm just throwing it out there. Like, just, is someone in the process of like, they have lotion on their hands and they're just like rubbing it in their hands. And you're like, no lotion for you. And you just swipe it all off. Or you, you could go with, you know, shoplifting. You could go with, you know, assault of some kind. I'm not sure what. Is that assault? Like, are you? I, uh, you know, if you're trying to steal lotion off my skin, I'm gonna consider that assault. That seems like a gray area to me. Because I'm not, mm. I'm not hurting you, am here's, I? I'm just stealing your lotion off of your hands. Here's what I've learned about gray areas. They're bad. No, that's not true. They're not all. If it falls into a gray area, eh, it's wrong. <laughs> no, that's not always true. Mm, yes. No, it's not. You're just judging a gray area thinking people. I just don't want people to steal things off of, off like, of your hands, off of my body. Like, but you're okay with them. You're okay with them walking into a convenience store and just stealing lotion off the shelf. Uh, is it not my? It's not my convenience store. It doesn't hurt me any, right? But unless it puts that store out of business, and then I can't buy my own lotion, and that's why they're stealing lotion off of me. It's the it's the um, drought. It's the lotion drought. The lotion droughts. <laughs> Is that why there's no lotion in the ocean? It's all been stolen. It's People are re re resorting to there's no, lotion theft. There's no lotion in the ocean. <laughs> all right, are we gonna kill? What is it, Lester? Or? Uh, no, that's GTA. There's some bones up there. We also never fight Lester in GTA. Uh, yeah. Oh. It's true, I don't know if there ever is. I doubt you'd ever fight now, Lester. He walks around with a cane, it's not like he'd be a difficult Okay, here's, here's another question as we're on the topic of lotion. Would you ever be so desperate enough for lotion to steal it off of Lester? I don't want Lester's lotion, I don't think I no. Ever need lotion that bad. And here's how bad I need lotion. My feet get so dry and cracked they bleed. Oh no. And I would still not rub them on Lester. I just imagine you like taking your foot and like rubbing it up and down his body, like, I need your mm. lotion. No, that's that's not something that would happen. That also does not look like a rabbit's foot. It that looks not. like something else. I looked exact I don't know, I've looked like every rabbit's foot I've ever that seen. It does not look like a rabbit's foot to me. I will say, right, don't write it down in the comments of what you think that looked like, because we want our comments actually to be sort of clean. Because the YouTube filter will automatically block it. Block it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, also, uh, it's just so, so the two of you know, as well as anybody else who doesn't watch live streams and they watch this instead. Um, yeah. The gauntlet has been put down by... Uh, Stronger, but not as fast sword. Uh, by our good friend uh, Christopher, also formerly known okay. as Cucumber. Um, at a million followers, uh, you will get Slave Loki. Slave Loki is, mind you, the Loki version of Slave Leia. So, just just be aware. Okay, 
There's so many follow-up questions. Did you, was this like your idea that you thought, hey, when we get to like a million subscribers, I'll dress up as Slave Leia, but it'll be like the Loki version of it. Or is this this uh, Christopher slash cucumber going to be you in, a, in like dressed as you, like cosplaying as you in a you cosplaying as Leia? There's so many questions that um, I need answered. Like what are the? I think I was diverting the conversation away from uh, something because he was asking if I was a slave, and I said slave Loki like slave Leia, and he said that'd be gross. So then I said, at a million followers, we get it. Okay, so, so now now does that mean that me and Nugget have to be subjected to this? Because I feel like that's a punishment for us. If you choose that as a punishment, then that's on you, it's not me. It's a punishment that I don't need to be subjected to, so I'm opting out of that. But if well, you but, better hope we never get a million but, followers, never a million subscribers. But if you want to do that, I will not say no to what you do in your free time. I know that I will not be there to witness you in your. Uh, so, it, it will either be a reward or a punishment. At a million followers, or a million who's subscribers. Who's getting rewarded by this? And, and I know, I know, I know that there's going to be a comment by Pales in Comparison about this saying like, oh, this is a oh. reward for me. No, it's not a reward. <laughs> Don't even try and look at it as a positive. There's, there's nothing positive about this. I feel very uh, shamed in my body right now. I feel like I don't have support. No, I'm supporting you in what you do in your free time. No. Nope. I just you're, don't need to witness you in your in your kinks. You're shaming no, our followers. I do not oh, need to him. It's not a kink. This is just a this is cosplay. This is just gonna happen. It's just going to happen. Convert that grumbler. There's no other there's no other alternative. It's just going to happen. Nobody no nobody said anything sexual about this. So just dressing up as a character from a very popular it's movie. It's true. I'm sorry that I looked at it as anything but. Yeah, and that's a problem on you. You should maybe uh, examine your own thought process as to why uh, you why took it that I way. Why I took it that way, and only I have taken it that way. Yeah. Also, why you looked at a rabbit's foot and thought something it else entirely. It wasn't a rabbit's foot. It's it was clearly a rabbit's, a rabbit's foot. foot. I will continually argue that it was not a rabbit's foot. It's a locked follower door, I guess. Well, that's the next level. And now you have to go back to your dissenter. I still can't do anything with him. Yeah. Maybe you'll get something here that you can do something with him. Did you ever think of that? Yeah, if you can sacrifice. But it doesn't look like they're giving you a sacrifice option. Don't. Don't disappoint. Uh-oh. I'm going to sleep. But you might have to make another bed for them. Yeah, I think the other how, two just go and fault. They, they just lay down. You can just build. Build. Bed. And then when time comes, you can build a shelter for them. What do I need? You, I think you got more than enough. You've got you've got enough, I believe. Got eight beds and six followers. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but then you've got to go down and make them. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> because they would make them if they were awake, but waking them up makes them angry. That guy's grumpy because he's like, now there's a bed I can sleep in. Yeah, they can claim beds. And then there's the other guy that's coming over to be like, hey, a bed. You can also build your body pit or you can put your bodies so they don't hit the floor. They hit the pit. Perhaps you should have it hit the floor. Right here in the middle, so everyone can see it. <laughs> That's send a message. 
I guess it does, but it's also... Is it a good message? I think Recall. you have one divination. Yeah. Do you have to use your divine inspiration to... No, collect more devotions. And allow more followers to pray. Yeah. Are they going to be angry now that you've woken them up? They seem very happy. They seem happy. Okay. Now they seem upset. Well, now Except Milo Bonobus. I don't think he was in there. I hope he's still, no. He's still there. No, he's angry. He's not, uh, he's not giving you his time. So, if I get... Do I need to build the prison? So another divine inspiration. Just another divine inspiration. You gotta go stealing some inspiration. Go rub your feet on Lester or whatever it was. Whatever weird, creepy thing Feathers wanted us to do. No, don't try and say. You're the one who me. brought it up. The Lester, the Lester rubbing was entirely you. Entirely me and me alone. What are you doing? Are you I followers? mentioned stealing lotion, and you were like rubbing it off of people. Whoa. Okay. Get a quest for him. Oh, you sweet. did. I thought you were waking him up. And I'm thinking, you're going to get another angry follower and another dissenter on your hands. So I haven't killed Leshy yet? No, it doesn't. Okay. I think that's the boss, the final boss of that whole area. Gotta go back to the dark wood. Back to the dark side. It actually might make sense that each of these areas has that final big boss and not mini bosses. See, I don't have a weapon. I always have to pick up a weapon. Then that's what they give you. You gotta take what you get. Don't complain. Want to? You grew up in the 80s. You know what it was like. You take what you got. No complaints. You don't complain. What? Oh. Whoa! I do wonder how many of our fans were born in the 80s. How many of them understand? Oh yeah, I, I, I know exactly what you're talking about. Um... I meant it for like fans to voice like, yeah, I was born in the 80s. I know exactly what he's talking about. I mean, feel free to leave a comment if, if that's if that's your jam, if you want to do that. But I also have statistics I can look at. It's about 45 percent of our well, actually 48 percent of our audience. Born in the most 80s. Likely. Look at them. At least born in the 80s. Like they're, you know. Oh, actually, you know, yeah. It'd be between the ages of 25 and 44. So. so somewhere in that age, yeah. Not our largest age group, individual age group, but that's two put combined that kind of fit within that range. So. If you were ever curious, the information that YouTube collects on you, it's the information that you give it when you sign up. It's almost I like don't this understand is your what these tarot cards tracked. are for. I mean, you know, if you put your date of birth into a website, they kind of know your date of birth. Yeah. So, if you don't put your date of birth in there, they don't know your date of birth. You're being followed. So, do, is your tracked. green heart like a a temporary heart, or what's their green heart? No idea. Or is it an extra life? So much of the unknown. We've played this game for a little bit now, but there's still... I, mean, I will say this game makes a lot more sense than the last game we played. What do I yeah. do with these tarot cards? I didn't... Oh, this one's big. Looter hearts. This one can go to a follower. 
and then a fight or a tarot card. Not sure. So got multiple branching paths. We're gonna get so many followers. They're all gonna hate yep. you. Only if it wakes them up at night and not allowing them to sleep. Oh, that's Ratatouille. I was like, what's that dude doing up there? Well, this one's a different one. This is Ratatouille. And then the other one's like Ratatou. Or Ratatou. No, this is a different... This, this is, is Ratatouille. Rat rat the other one's... Two. The rat second rat. This was Ratatouille 2. I didn't realize they made a sequel to Ratatouille. This is just... This is a different one. It's the same type of creature. Maybe it's his grandfather. All right. You're already at full health, though. Cool. Did you get an extra heart? I might have. The one with the yellow around it. Uh. Is that a temporary heart? Oh, that looked violent. Yep, your red one is temporary. It's like shield. Wow. Or is the green wow. one a shield? And the red one's a temporary. The green one is the shield, because the green one's the one that yeah, went okay. away when he got okay, hit. Okay, okay. I thought you were saying that the red one was a shield. <gasps> You're saving a horsey or a donkey. Could be also be a pony. Tony the pony. Or it's the hybrid, where they bred donkeys and horses. I can't remember what they're called. Mules. There you go. It could be a mule. I like Tony the Pony. Pretty good one. Not as nutritious as Tony the Tiger, but... Is it? Is it really yeah. that nutritious? I mean, I know they say it is. Is it more nutritious then than Tony the Tiger? Now, the way that you're I mean, saying it... It's just with sugar it, on it. The way that you were saying it, it made it sound like you were eating Tony the Tiger, not eating Frosted Flakes. Or the... Uh, would, um, are, are tigers more nutritious than, than ponies? I guess it depends on your options. Oh, what is that thing? What, which you have more available. Are you in the middle of the desert and all you have is your horse to eat? Or are you in the middle well, of the jungle? Your options are eat a tiger because that's the only thing you have to eat or eat a a pony because it's the only thing you have to eat then yes eating those then is more nutritious than not eating those and isn't a horse very similar to a cow so it would have a lot more like muscle and fat I think tigers have a lot of muscle yeah I can see that I'm just wondering if in basic animal physiology that they are close enough to a cow that I think they're quite dissimilar from cows. Dissimilar? Just because they have hooves. Are you asking our good friend Google what's more nutritious? I would never a, do such a thing. A Stop! I would never. Even though that's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> I would never do the exact thing I'm doing. How dare you accuse me of doing the How thing I'm doing? How dare you? Ah. Uh... I feel like if, if I was tracked, Google would just say, what the hell are you looking up? I mean, you are tracked and they really don't care what you look up. As long as you I look mean, at their insofar ads. As, yeah, it just, it just informs the ads that they're gonna show you. So you'll probably start getting like exotic meat dealers and rabbit feet. That is I have a so... feeling I need to go back up to this one. Uh, nope. Nope. This is so weird. Um. Ooh. UK. Among meats, horse meat has the highest protein content. 
Among all it meats? It just says among meats, so I am assuming among all meats. Weird. Um, yeah, the highest protein content. It also contains potassium, sodium, um, phosphorus, iron, copper, magnesium, amino acids, thymine, riboflavin, uh, a couple of other things, let's say. Final boss. Dealing devotion. Whoa. Okay. Did yep. you just pick up poo? Guys, why this are guy's you picking up all poo? over the place? I guess. You're gonna yep. fight a poo demon? It's looking that way. <laughs> it's looking that. Yep. Gain an extra heart. I don't. Which one did you choose? I don't know what these tarot cards do. What they say? Well, like, on them. but when do I use them? Whoa! What the? I think. Okay, those are bad things. Crap. Getting him? Is there no way to pick up extra hearts while oh, you're no. in here? Sometimes I think I get them, but it's not very often. So, it's harder to find information about tiger meat, but then of course I go... I'd imagine, they're yeah, endangered. Yeah, <laughs> but it says, um, like, what are the benefits of eating tiger meat? And it's on, like, one of the uh, questionnaire, like, side things. And then someone's like, zip, zero, um, zero zip, not a nun. Don't eat tigers, they're endangered. And then there's, like, other people who uh, have answers. Like, if you eat tiger meat, you get the benefit of being a gigantic idiot with no concern for the diversity of life on this planet. You also get the benefit of praying that Barbados. you will be reincarnated as a dung beetle for all time. Whoa! Whoa. Are you fighting an island? Apparently. I have no idea what's going on. I now have to look at what is happening. You're fighting an island. Barbados? To be fair, the island is Barbados, but you know. Similar enough. Also, not to be confused with Barbados Slim, who is just a, uh, I just forgot the name, Limbo Champion. That's it, Limbo Champion, Barbados Slim. I got my kids watching Futurama. Do they enjoy it or so is it? They enjoy it, they okay. enjoy it very much. I use it as uh, a way to get them to stop watching stupid, terrible things on YouTube. Isn't that kind of our life, though? No, we're the good things oh. on YouTube. We're not like compilations of other people's videos. Oh, so. Whoa! Oh. And like terrible videos that are like. Creepypasta stuff that. Yeah. But creepypasta is interesting. No, it's not. And all I have to do is say Futurama, and they're like, oh, right. And then they go and watch like two or three episodes of you Futurama. You don't like the ideas of other people that other people have about horror, horror stories and things like that? I don't like, uh, just stolen content is really the, the oh, problem okay. I have. Aren't we stealing content by playing this game and consuming it and providing it to our audience? Is that stealing another video that someone made? I mean... Yes. I don't know. It's, it's not, clearly. But... So you're not a fan of the stolen content idea. I mean, I'm, I'm not... We're, you know, we're not just taking a video that somebody made about this game and just playing it on I'm, our channel. And reacting to next it? Next to other videos that other people made. Not oh. even reacting to it. Just putting them together in a compilation and saying, hey, look at this thing oh. I made. Well, that's how you get the views. That's how you get those subscribers and yeah, watch no. them. That's how you get sacrificed in a cult. That's 
So that's what the dissenter did? Yes. You're not getting on board with his way of creating content that you now have to kill him? It's not creating content if you just take someone else's content and re-upload it. <laughs> that's what I'm getting at. You're not adding to it, you're not doing anything to it, you're just there. You're just taking it and reposting it. Faith is a resource. Spend it as you would spend gold. But you're really doing things for them, not getting them to do things. Like, that's... Yeah, follower command unlock. Maybe you can read that dissenter's cool. mind and figure out why he's... Why he's so... upset with your ways. Will it really change anything, though? Oh, I'm putting someone in the stocks. We'll end On it with the episode? stocks. Or will that be the next episode? Find I out either good... in moments or next week. Yeah, I think it's a good cliffhanger to leave it on, but fine. Nugget wants to put an angry dissenter into the, the blockade. He's got to build or it. Or a stockade. Yeah. The stockade. Sorry. Yeah. He wants to punish his naughty followers. They all come over to help. Your angry <laughs> followers. Where'd the other one go? Did he like just run off? I don't know. It's a high possibility. You've only got six followers still. Didn't you just bring in two say? more? Oh, there it is. You're dying. All right. <laughs> just wow. pick him up and throw him in. <laughs> yeah, where'd the other one go? Is he... Oh, wow. It was... Milo Bonobus, wasn't it? No. Oh, that's so sad. I need to do a sermon, though. Yeah, I think it's, you have a maximum limit of followers, and so the bad that you just filter them out as they go without that decisions. That's good. Uh, yeah. Wait, now you can murder a follower. Or murder a follower. But all followers gain loyalty, though. So you can do it as a ritual, and followers gain loyalty. Is that, but is that killing someone? I don't think it so. Is. The ritual, you can perform a ritual at your temple, which can ascend a follower spirit to a higher plane of existence. So it's still killing them. It's just... We sure about that? Not I just sure looked that. it up. Oh. Well, you... You gotta the save first doctrine, cheating. the first doctrine will allow you to send a follower to heaven. This is a great way of sacrificing a follower, as to, not only will it send them to a good place, it will increase the faith and loyalty of the rest of the followers if they witness the ascension. Cool. I'm glad we stuck around. Because now that's a great place to end it. But the faith thing is still down at the bottom. Stay tuned, everyone. Stay tuned. More lotion thievery next week. Find out what Try happens it. to uh, which one was this? I don't remember. My Lobanobus. It's not my Lobanobus. No, my Lobanobus is gone. Googly. Anyways. Anyway. See ya. Bye. <laughs>